So today I want to let you know about a remote ID module, which is not only available for immediate shipment, but it is the cheapest and lightest one that I found to date. So I'm going to give a couple away for free. Plus I'm going to give some swag away. So how cool is that? So this dandy little module is from Holy Stone and you can see how small it is and it comes in at about 14 grams. It has a compact profile, which is pretty nice, a square, no big bumps or goofy things like that. And everything is included in this, the battery, the antenna, everything. So nothing else is needed. It comes complete like this. Now it's programmable so you can add your own information to the broadcast. And I'll show that in just a bit and why you might do that. Yes, I did check and it has a declaration of compliance from the FAA. So it's shown here on the screen. So indeed it is a valid broadcast too. The package comes with the module, the Velcro to attach it and a quick start guide. It has an integrated battery that charges with USB-C and takes about one and a half hours to charge, has a five hour battery life. So it does not come with the charging cable though. So you'll need to supply your own, which of course we all have a drawer full of those somewhere. As I mentioned, you can program this. So it broadcasts special information depending upon where you are. You may need this specific stuff according to your local rules. So make sure you check your requirements if you're not sure. In the US, you can leave it blank and just have the defaults in there because it'll just transmit the serial number then and that's all we need. However, you do need to program it the first time when you get it so that it'll transmit right. So it won't be transmitting anything if you don't do that first once. Of course, so we'll do that and check out the broadcast itself then so we can see what that looks like. So to program it, it is pretty straightforward. Just load the drone go to app and there's a scan code in the instructions to tell you where you can get that on the app stores. Then you're going to turn on the module by pressing the button and holding it for a couple of seconds and you'll see that some green lights will come on. The first time you turn it on, the second light will go solid. That lets you know that you're in the program mode. Make sure then that your phone's Bluetooth is turned on and then open the drone go to app and click the plus icon here in the center and search for devices. You should see the serial number of your module pop up there in the screen. Once you see that, go ahead and pick the number that's on the screen and it will connect. Now it's just going to display a quick little page of what this looks like. And there's just a few parameters that you can set. So we're going to go ahead and pull down a couple of these items here. And if your drone is not there, you can just go ahead and put other. And again, remember, you don't have to have these things in the United States. You can leave this blank if you want. However, we're going to put something in there just to see what that broadcast looks like. So put a name in there, put a weight in here as well, just for our information. And then also you'll notice here that there is the serial number of the remote ID module. Now this is the number you're going to need to put on the FAA's website if you're registering. And that same number is also available on the module itself here. Uh, but go ahead and take a note of that before you exit this page. Then go ahead and click save. The last thing then is to restart the module by turning it off, then back on. So it broadcasts the changes that we just made. The second light should now flash. It should not be solid anymore. That lets you know that it is a current compliant broadcast. Now, if you're wondering about remote ID in the US and when you need to broadcast this, it's as simple as this. If you or the drone is registered for any reason, you need remote ID to broadcast. It's that simple. Now, as with anything, there is nuances to this, of course. And if you want to know more, I was in a live stream with Kevin Morris from the FAA and Greg Verdio, who is from the Pilot Institute, an expert in the field. And we talked about the 18 most common questions people have about remote ID. And I'll put a link here and in the description so that after this video, you can go ahead and check that out. And that will tell you more details on remote ID specifically. If you still have questions after watching this video, drop in a comment and I'll do my best to answer. Of course, now, if you don't watch the video first and just start asking questions, I can tell. So don't do that. It's not nice. Why do people do that? Something I also wanted to mention is that you do not need to check the broadcast to be compliant. Now, we're going to do that shortly just to make sure and just to see what this looks like. But you do not have to do this to be compliant. Whatever indication there is that is supposed to signify a broadcast is compliant, whether you're with a standard remote ID drone or remote ID module like this one, there's some indication that says, yes, the manufacturer said, if you see this, it is a compliant broadcast. That's all you need to look for. And in this case, there's a flashing green light on the right hand side that tells us that this is a compliant broadcast right now. We don't need to open up any app. We don't need to confirm that it's seen by the Apple or the police or the FAA or some phone. It doesn't matter. This tells us that we are transmitting a compliant broadcast according to the manufacturer's instructions. And that is all we need to know. So 
That being said, we are of course going to check it just because we're curious what's going out there. So I'm going to open up the Open Drone ID app. Now that's one of the apps that we've had loaded for a while because we've been checking remote ID for other reasons. It should show now that there's at least one drone found in this area. And there it is. We can see that we're here. We can see not only that it shows us a location, but it shows us the serial number is broadcasting. And you can see that the name we put in for this module is showing up as well. Now we can click for more info. And of course, it will give us more information, GPS, things like that. I'll take a quick walk just so we can look what that looks like outside here and uh, make sure that we see some distance and things happening. But overall, indeed, this is working. So we're connected to the app here and we can see the remote ID module here. So let's have Karen go around and just make sure that we can track it a little bit just to make sure that that looks good. So here we are, you can see the remote ID module in the app here. So no problems there. And you can see that we do have a location. We're going around and it's tracking us. So indeed, the remote ID module is doing what it needs to do. Now, if you follow the channel at all, you know I'm not a fan of remote ID broadcasting the pilot's location at all. So if you want to be a compliant with remote ID broadcast, but don't want Karen or some thug to see your location, then I'd recommend a different Karen resistant type module for you. And this is one that we hacked with the manufacturer's help. And I'll put that link up here and in the description uh, so that you can go take a look at that. You'll have to pay more for this now, of course, but if this feature is really important to you, then you might want to take a look at that one instead. So the Holy Stone remote ID module is in stock at Amazon and is 89 bucks complete. Now, at the time of this recording, I'm also working with Holy Stone to get you guys an additional discount. So if I'm successful, I will put that information up here and in the description so that you can get even a better price. So let's give some stuff away, shall we? How about a remote ID modules and some swag? Now, here's the rules. Let's have a little bit of fun with this one. So first, gotta like the video. Next, gotta be a subscriber. Of course, you snooze, you lose. Why wouldn't you wanna subscribe anyway? I don't know. Next. You need to share this link either in your Facebook feed or Twitter feed. And I know that's different from some things that I've done before, but I think, hey, free remote ID modules and swag, I think it's worth it. So there's a link right here below the video. And yes, I'm going to check. You're, you're going to check? Okay, you're going to check. All right, so we're going to check to make sure that you've done that link. Also, have to be in the lower 48 states. Sorry, I got to draw the line somewhere. Last thing is you need to comment below this video and you need to put this specific text in the comment. The cheapest remote ID module is free. Then add any number between one and 100, and I'll randomly pick a number in about two weeks, and I'll pick someone who has not only the correct text, but the correct number, and then I will let you know in the comments. And once you've seen that you've won, you need to contact me at the email address here with your mailing address, and I'll just get it out to you free of charge, shipping included and everything, and that's it. And also, I'm going to have some additional swag. I'm going to have some Alien Drone swag and some Pilot Institute swag here for four of you. So lots to win here. And as I mentioned, Pilot Institute, if you're not familiar with these guys, they really are the experts in the industry as far as 107 and rules and things like that. So if you're curious about maybe what does a 107 do for me or anything like that, I'll make sure I put a link here and I'll put a video up here as well because I'm sure that'll help answer your questions for sure. So with that, Thanks for stopping by and good luck. We'll see you soon in these videos.